Hi everybody, this is Mr. Polly and welcome to podcast 14.1 yep. and where we are going to quickly cross off positron emission and add uses of nuclear stuff. And let's hop right into it. Oh yeah, Mr. Fowley. Woohoo! Alright, what is an isotope? So get out your periodic table, and your periodic table should look like it has elements like this. This is review. This is the mass number, A, which is protons plus neutrons. This is the atomic number, which is sometimes called Z, which is the number of protons, and that tells you the identity. So if you look at, look for number 92, 92 is your whole number, that's uranium. And then this is the average, notice there's a decimal point, average atomic mass. And that average atomic mass is not what we use it's for this unit. That's the average. We want to talk about specific atoms. So for example, if I'm talking about sulfur number 34, like sulfur 34 right here, this means its mass is 34. So I would put S, and I look at the periodic table, and sulfur has 16 protons, and I would put 34 here, even though the periodic table says something like 32.06. I don't use that average number. I use the number it tells me. So nuclear reactions are different from chemical reactions in a couple of different ways, but the main way is that chemical reactions have the same atoms at all times. So here's a chemical reaction. Nitrogen, nitrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen. Nuclear reactions change the identity of the atoms. Polonium turns into lead and helium. Lead turns into a beta particle and bismuth. So they change. What is constant when you do these things is nuclear reactions. Hey, I'd write this down. Nuclear reactions conserve mass. So look right here. 210, 206, 204. Hey, 206 plus 4 is 210. They conserve mass, which is the top number. Nuclear reactions, well, guess what else they conserve? Nuclear reactions conserve protons. So look right here. I've got 82. Boop, 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 boop. And look, I have 83 plus negative 1. That's 82. They conserve protons. And remember, chemical reactions conserve atoms. They have two, neutri two nitrogens, two nitrogens, six hydrogens, two times three, six hydrogens. So what is radioactive? Pretty much everything has a little bit of radioactive parts to it. So remember how we talk about masses are average masses? Well, there are a couple of outliers that um, are radioactive. So if they have a bad balance of uh, protons and neutrons, then it will be radioactive. So what is radioactive? So the things that are radioactive are atoms with bad proton to neutron ratios. Okay, So these dots right here are stable. Okay, and This is called the band of stability. Okay, So if you are somewhere, so if I had something that had 42 protons and 52 neutrons, it would be stable because it's in the band of stability. Okay, To be stable, a good proton to neutron ratio, so one neutron for one proton is good up to proton number 20. If you have more than 20 protons, you need more neutrons. And the neutrons are like the glue that hold it together. Okay? Pretty much everything has a radioactive part to it, even us. The sun is bombarding us with radiation, but it's not so much that gets us. X-ray and medical procedures hit us with radiation, but we don't do those every day. Radon gas is common, which can be a problem, but generally we can find ways to get rid of it. So there are common sources of radiation. Alpha decay looks like this. Four over 2 HE. And in Mr. Folly's special, I like to put um, plus 2 up here to emphasize that it has a charge of plus 2. Look, it's positive. 
Okay, it's two protons and two neutrons. Right? Two protons, and then protons plus neutrons is mass, and it's heavy for a radioactive particle. It doesn't have much penetrating power, meaning it can be blocked by skin or paper. Hey, that's skin. Okay, it does cause damage. So if it gets to your um, DNA, it can cause damage. Here's an example of an alpha particle. Look, oh, gee, gee. if this is lorentium 256 and it turns into, uh, it does an alpha decay, that means that this A uh, 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 would be 252, right? 256 is 4. And then this must be 101. 2 plus 101 equals 103. 4 plus 252 equals that. And atomic number 101, I'm looking at my periodic table, is Mendelevium. Mid. If this guy does alpha decay, just to show you another way to write alpha decay, woo. that means instead of weighing one, 151, it's going to be 147. And instead of being 67, it's 65. And I look at, because 2 plus 65 is 67, 4 plus 147 is 151. And atomic number 65 is terbium from the periodic table looking at number 65. Beta decay looks like this, 0, negative 1 beta, or 0, negative 1 e. Basically, it's an electron. It is very light, massless, meaning it has the mass of an electron, which means its mass is negligible. It has a negative charge. It's more penetrating than alpha, so it takes a sheet of metal to block it. Or thick plywood. So 247 over Z, A, M, I guess I should have found this one better that told me the atomic number of americium. Americium is number 95, so I would change that to 95. And then here's a beta particle. So if this is negative 1, this guy right here must have a Z of 96, and its mass would stay the same, 247. So the one with 96 is curium. There we go. So if I had gold do beta decay, the mass, 0 plus something equals 211. And 80 minus 1 equals 79. And 80 is mercury. Gamma looks like this. It's massless. It's just energy. It has no charge. It has the most penetrating power. And then if I tell you radon 230 undergoes beta and gamma decay. So radon is Rn. 230 is the mass. And a radon from the periodic table is 86. If it does gamma decay, whoop, 0, 0. OK, so how does the mass change? Hey, it doesn't. How does the number of protons change? Hey, it doesn't. That means I just get radon back, but it's not so overly energetic. OK? Um, no charge, massless, and it has the most penetrating power. Erbium 171. Oh, erbium. So erbium is 68. 171 er. And it goes gamma. Oh, I didn't do gamma and alpha. Well, we'll pretend that one was it. We'll just skip this one. So what if an isotope has 10 protons and 15 neutrons? 10 protons, 15 neutrons. I'll put it right here. It would be stable. What if it has 40 protons and 20 neutrons? 40 protons and 20 neutrons. It would be radioactive. Why is it radioactive? It's off of the band of stability. What if I had 70 protons and 112? Woo, 112. Stable. And bigger than 83 protons, it is radioactive by alpha decay. So it has to do alpha if it's bigger than 83. So all of these guys right here do alpha, the C region. Okay. Fusion, fission. Fusion, two smaller particles collide and make a larger particle. So neutrons and energy. Fission, a neutron hits a nucleus and makes smaller particles, neutrons and energy. What you need to know in addition to fusion, fusion is hard to start because positive nuclei repel each other. And fission is easier to start.
it's hard to start. The only place that really does fusion commonly is the sun, and fission is what we humans usually do. Where are fission and fusion used? Fusion is hard to start since two plasma nuclei approach each other. Hey, you might have heard that before. Maybe you don't have to write it down again. Fission is easier to start because neutrons have no repulsion. Hey, that's nice too. Fission is in nuclear power and bombs. Fusion is in the sun, and it came to a fission, turns into fusion and bomb. Use of radiation. Brain imaging. So the, we can see the radioactive parts, and you can see that radioactive blue goes to these parts of your brain. By the way, I think if I pulled this picture right, this was for someone who used cocaine as someone not using cocaine. So you can see the parts of your brain that die from cocaine or whatever it is. Okay. Dating old things. So you can tell by the ratio of radioactivity how old it is. So we can date like mummies and dinosaurs. Power plants, not like plants like the Simpsons, you know. You know. Okay. Here's a map of all the power plants in the U.S. Notice how they tend to be around areas of high population. And leak detection. Review. Alpha is big, heavy, and positive. Beta, light, medium penetration, negative. Positron, like, oh, we don't have positrons. Sorry. Gamma, massless, high, penetrating. On the band is stable. Off the band is not. And let the band play on. Toodles.